Hello everyone, welcome to our online services. Uh, I am just going to jump into a couple of texts as we get started and then explain uh, what's going on this morning and why things are a little bit different. Uh, and so, you got to start with John chapter 8, verses 31 and 36. Uh, to the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Uh, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Amen. Uh, and then 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, uh, the new creation has come, the old has gone, and the new is here. All right. I stole those scriptures uh, uh, from someone who stole them, of course, from the Bible, right? Uh, so if you noticed the length of the video before you started it, then you already know that we're doing something a little bit different this morning. Uh, of course, this week was Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that all of us are uh, experiencing life in different ways uh, uh, as we navigate the coronavirus together. Uh, and that some of us have to be much more isolated uh, than others of us. And um, I know that the holiday season could be a very difficult time uh, to be going through a time of isolation. I just want you to remember that uh, you have a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Uh, and, and I know I was thinking about, you know, um, this Thanksgiving I was just thinking about all of the things I have to be thankful for, uh, and I, I have so much uh, to be thankful for in my life. A lot of wonderful things going on. Uh, the Lord has blessed me with my wife and my kids, and uh, He's just always taking care of me. But you know, my salvation. I, I was just thinking about my salvation. You know, uh, that Jesus saved me, right? Uh, because nothing compares. Uh, to Jesus saving me. Uh, all of the rest of it is is wonderful and I'm thankful for it. Uh, uh, but we, if it didn't start there with Jesus saving me from the power of sin uh, and darkness and setting me free, uh, whom the sun sets free is free indeed, it, it has to start there. Amen. And so if you have experienced that, I know uh, that, all, like I said, all of us are in different places uh, and it can be difficult, especially if you're struggling with your perspective and only being able to see kind of the tough things that are going in, going on in your life right now, I encourage you, uh, ask God to help change your perspective. I know that sometimes I get caught up in, in looking at the negatives and then the Lord just reminds me of how much he's done for me just in saving me, that he loved me and he called me uh, while I was yet a sinner before I had done anything. Uh, there was nothing that I, I was ever going to do that would make me worthy of his love or his saving power. And yet Jesus loved me, died for me, rose from the dead for me, is seated at the right hand of the Father and is praying for me. Uh, and, and I am so thankful uh, for his salvation. And uh, hopefully that helps and encourages someone uh, that is watching. It's Thanksgiving week. Uh, and because of that, I was wanting to be able to spend a little time with my family. Uh, my daughters are down from school and we spent the week together and had Thanksgiving together. Uh, and, and then this Sunday, we are going to have a guest speaker. Uh, Pastor Bill James is going to be ministering here for our live in-person services. Uh, and that, that gave me the gift of being able to spend some time with my family. Uh, this week, uh, and uh, and so we're gonna have a gift uh, guest speaker this Sunday for our live services, and so uh, we're gonna have a guest speaker this Sunday for our online services, uh, uh, and so what I'm gonna do, uh, you know, is I'm gonna put in the description of this video, I'm gonna point you uh, to a a service that I enjoyed, all right, with a, a missionary and evangelist. Pastor Reinhard Bonnke, uh, if you know me, if you're a friend of mine, or if you've listened to me talk before, you've heard me talk about Reinhard Bonnke. He is a, a missionary. He was a missionary uh, to Africa, and uh, I love him. He's a great man of God. He is an encouraging man of God. He's uplifting. Uh, he always just 
focuses on Jesus and the love that Jesus has of, uh, for sinners and for saints. Uh, uh, and he just has a passion for Jesus that just comes off of him uh, and comes out of him and gets hold of you uh, as you spend time watching him and listening to him. Uh, I love Pastor Reinhard Bunke. Uh, he, he has a contagious love for God. Uh, and he preaches the simplicity of the gospel, right? His message is Jesus saves you, uh, that Jesus came to seek and save the lost. And I love that about him, the simple gospel message that Jesus loves us, died for us uh, because he wants to save us uh, and have fellowship with us. Uh, uh, and he wants us to spend eternity with him. Uh, and so again, right down in the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link that will point you uh, to a sermon that he preached uh, at Hillsong Church a few years ago in 2016. Uh, the title of the message is Free Indeed. All right. And if you watch it, uh, I guarantee that you will be encouraged by it and you will be blessed by it. So I, I encourage you, please go watch the video. Uh, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And I'm praying that, that we'll have a great Christmas time together, whatever it may look like, however it may come, whatever may happen. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes uh, fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith. Uh, I encourage you to do the same thing, uh, to have our eyes fixed on him, uh, that we're so focused on him that, you know, the secondary issues, uh, uh, they just don't matter to us as much as anymore uh, when we fall completely, totally in love with Jesus. Uh, and so I just encourage you uh, to have a great week. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next Sunday, all right? God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.